is Banksy Rich? He's arguably the world's most famous street artist, and some online sources say he nets around $20 million a year. But is this true? And if so, how does he make his money while keeping his anonymity and opposing commercial success at the same time? Spoiler alert! Banksy doesn't make money through his record-breaking prints or wool pieces sold at auctions. Last October, Banksy's Devolt Parliament was sold for a record price of $12 million and broke his own record multiple times. The painting was sold by a private British collector who had bought it from Banksy in 2011 and previously had it on display in his office. And how much did Banksy get from the original sale? As far as we know, nothing. For the last few years, all proceeds he gets from a private buyer goes to charity. As a vocal anti-capitalist and someone who thinks art is for everyone, Banksy discourages people from buying his work. Graffiti art has a hard enough life as it is, before you add hedge fund managers wanting to chop it out and hang it over the fireplace. For the sake of keeping all street art where it belongs, I'd encourage people not to buy anything by anybody, unless it was created for sale in the first place. The world even witnessed the shredding of one of his paintings after it was sold for $1.4 million at an auction at Sotheby's. The shredded piece is now probably more valuable as it was the first time such an art stunt was performed. The secondary market is the only place where you can purchase a Banksy these days. The last time someone could buy a primary market Banksy was in 2013 and nobody was actually aware of the fact that they were buying authentic Banksy's. There was this one-day Central Park pop-up selling 100% authentic original signed Banksy canvases for $60 each. It only attracted three buyers and eight paintings were sold, totaling $480. It was a social experiment which was filmed by Banksy and looked like a random street sale. Two of those paintings have since been sold at an auction for $200,000. But then there are the wall pieces the graffiti art that has been central to Banksy's fame, and that's where things get really interesting. Imagine one day you wake up and you won the Banksy lottery, meaning Banksy bumped your ball with graffiti, or you spotted one that looks just like a Banksy. What would you do? There are three things you could do. Destroy it, leave it for public consumption, and well, sell it. Yes, that's right, you could sell it, but how? This wall painting titled Donkey with the Soldier on the separation wall in Bethlehem was stolen. Yes, an almost four-ton wall was removed by builders, popped up on eBay and was then bought by a Danish collector for $100,000. The collector tried to resell it at an auction but was unable to do so. So now the wall sits in storage away from the enjoyment of the public. How ethical is this to steal graffiti artwork from its original location? And surely, it's not legal, is it? In the UK, graffiti artists can be fined and imprisoned under the Criminal Damage Act of 1971. So it's illegal to paint on walls, but if you own the property, it's totally legal to cut the wall and sell it for thousands, if not millions of dollars, with the artist getting nothing in return and the public losing the opportunity to view it. Of course, when an artist becomes this popular, there will always be people looking to make money on the back of his or her success. It's estimated there are millions of dollars worth of fake Banksy artwork in circulation. In 2010, two conmen were found guilty of making more than $50,000 by selling copies of Banksy pieces on eBay. So how would you know whether your Banksy is 100% authentic? There is a website pestcontroloffice.com. It helps you confirm if your Banksy is the real deal. Banksy set up pest control in 2008 and found 226 fake works of art, including 89 street graffitis and 138 screen prints since then. As a rule, pest control doesn't authenticate Banksy's graffiti work because that could implicate him for getting involved in criminal activity. People are earning thousands, if not millions, from Banksy's artwork behind his back. So, back to our first question. How does Banksy make money? Banksy's Academy Award-nominated documentary Exit Through the Gift Shop provides an income, as well as his dystopian hotel, the Waldorf Hotel, overlooking the separation wall that he opened in Bethlehem. 
the hotel is almost always fully booked and room prices range from $60 to $480 per night. His book Wall and Peace, which was published in 2005, was still selling around the world. Its price on Amazon is $16 for a paperback, while the hardcover costs $23. In his early years as an artist, Banksy also sold his art. In the 90s, at the very beginning, people were buying his prints to use as posters for very low prices without even knowing that they might be worth thousands of dollars in the future. By the late 2000s, the art world had realized Banksy's popular appeal and many of his works had been removed from their original public settings to be sold. About 10 years ago, Banksy was selling directly through certified dealers at exhibitions or through his former printer's pictures on walls. But pictures on walls closed down after a while because it was making too much money. Despite attempts at price fixing, regrettably some POW prints have become worth tens of thousands of pounds. Either unable or unwilling to become part of the art market we once so self-righteously denounced, we called it quits. Banksy strives to be an artist for everyone, not just for the elite class. But will art collectors taint his intended legacy?